So how much solar do you need on your boat? Uh, well, it all depends on what you want the solar panel to do. So if it's just to charge your batteries whilst you're not using the boat, uh, perhaps you use the boat at weekends, then uh, there is a rule of thumb for every 100 amp hour of battery you have, a 10 watt panel, even in the UK, will replace the natural discharge uh, on that battery. Uh, so anything above that is going to put extra charge in your battery as well. If you're looking to uh, charge your batteries whilst you're cruising, uh, then actually you'll need a, a bigger and larger and larger solar array uh, to cope with that. Um, depending on location as well, if you're sailing around uh, Northern Europe, you're going to get less power from your solar panels than if you're in the Mediterranean. Um, so again, um, different size arrays, different amounts of power from that to your batteries. So there are different sizes of solar panels. Uh, here is a, a 10 watt. Uh, which would be used for just uh, trickle charging your batteries, um, a couple of watts here and there, just to stop them from completely deep discharging. Right up to a 30 watt uh, semi-flexible panel, and these panels can be mounted on, on the deck of the boat. They will bend slightly, so you can actually walk on them as long as you have a solid surface underneath. And then we go through to a more traditional glass solar panel, which is great if you have uh, a location out of the way, perhaps a gantry or a goalpost um, type of uh, system to, to mount it onto, because if you walk on this, obviously you've damaged the panel because uh, there's glass on the front of it. This is a, uh, a recent uh, addition to the market. This is a panel from Sunware, who are a German manufacturer, and this can actually be attached to a Bimini. Uh, it's very lightweight, it's uh, semi-flexible, uh, but it gives you the convenience of actually mounting onto a bimini, so again, away from any uh, areas which are going to be walked on. So, ways of uh, installing the solar panels. A semi-flexible panel, such as this one here, uh, you can screw it down. A lot of them have screw holes in the corners, so you can screw it onto the deck. Uh, you can either use Sikaflex to actually stick it down with adhesive. Um, you just need to take care that uh, at any point you don't get people kicking the junction boxes uh, and obviously any uh, cable which is exposed could be a trip hazard as well so you need to make sure they are well covered. And a solar panel like a uh, rigid panel like this needs to be installed out of the way and that would be permanently fitted. Um, you do see them on, from time to time on a hinge so people can actually fold them out when they want them and then put them away again when they don't. Uh, but this would need to be away from people walking on it, ropes dropping on it, things like that. With regards to maintenance, uh, there is no real maintenance with solar panels. There's no moving parts. Um, all we ever recommend is that uh, on occasion you wash them over with fresh water uh, just to um, cut down on any deterioration from the salt water. Uh, but all the panels from a reptile manufacturer will be designed from, uh, for a marine market and for that type of use.